so satisfying. Right, how important is bowling the jack? It's actually called delivering the jack, and being able to deliver the jack consistently is a very valuable skill to have. Let's say that you and your team are preferring a shorter length. You want to be able to deliver that jack to a short length. By short length, you mean not very far away. Yeah, kind of. So let's say that you've got the mat on the two metre mark down here. You'd want to be getting the jack to about the 23 metre mark over on the other end. Let's say if you wanted to have a long length, keep the mat where it is, except you want to get that jack a bit further down all the way to the other two metre mark down the end. Right, it just depends on how I want to, you know, strategize my game. Yeah, pretty much, bring those tactics in. So, the jack, that's just a standard ball, doesn't have any bias? No, it doesn't have a bias, so this will just travel in a straight line. And to hold the jack, ideally, you want to put your three fingers in the middle of the jack with your thumb on top. And to deliver the jack, place your anchor foot in the middle of the mat and then your lead foot where you're feeling comfortable, just so you've got a stable balance. Establish where you want to deliver the jack to, somewhere between the 23 metre mark and the 2 metre mark, and deliver. If your jack goes off the centre line, it's OK, because your skip will fix it up for you. And how do I tell how far 23 metres is? The 23 metre mark is marked out on the green. You can see it over there down on the bank. So if you have your mat on the two metre mark, the minimum distance that you need to reach is to that 23 metre mark. Let's take into account though this length here. Our mat is about a metre in front of that two metre mark. So we need to get the jack about a metre past that 23 metre mark. Keep your arm and shoulder nice and loose. Roll the jack using the same action as you were for bowling. With your arm, follow through straight along the line, not off to either side. And here's a tip. Don't bend your arm up or down. Use exactly the same swing as your bowl with. If it doesn't reach the 23 metre mark, then the opposition can choose where it's placed. So what happens if I plonk it into the ditch at the other end? If you put it into the ditch, then the jack will come back to the opposition. The opposition will then have a go at delivering the jack where they would like it to be placed. Although the person who first delivered the jack still bowls the first bowl. So the basics to remember when delivering the jack are hold it in three fingers and thumb, lock your wrist, and follow through along the line of the rake. Oh, and don't put it in the ditch.